Welcome back to the channel. And also the last in our WRX in the shed build. And obviously this is not the WRX that we built. Uh, this is another one I'm actually in the workshop getting prepped uh, for the forest rally, which is coming up very, very shortly. So uh, just getting the last bits and pieces done on this. This is actually a, a new car, a full rally car that's uh, going to make its debut on the stages very shortly, which would be great to see. Anyway, uh, I see we do one final episode on the WRX and the shed build, and it is really to uh, reveal the sign writing and uh, also the testing and see how the car went. So let's get into it. Now, if you follow us on Instagram, you may have seen a sneak preview of the car already. However, let's move on from where we were finishing off at the last one, and it was uh, to get the sign writing on the car. So thanks, Richard, for that. Did a great job of cutting all the stickers out. And yes, we did use the fluorescent yellow because after all, the car is 74 FWRC blue. So we uh, did a bit of a homage to the uh, factory color scheme for the car. Also used a set of uh, the Speedline wheels, which were, um, were actually wheels that the cars ran in the day. So it actually looks quite authentic. When we uh, took it up to the uh, events at our venue, uh, we had a uh, rally sprint and a car across on. It was amazing. A lot of the people there, thank you for the comments, because there was a lot of people that uh, had seen the car on the, our channel and uh, were hanging around it and uh, yeah, crawling all over it. And it is a uh, really a, a very good looking car. So it was great. Anyway, on to how it went. Well, we gave uh, Mark the job of testing the car. He was a little bit nervous about that being so uh, freshly painted and ready to go. However, to his credit, did a great job. On the Saturday uh, during the rally sprint, uh, we used it kind of like a course car, like a zero car, and so ran ahead of the field just to give it a bit of a run and see what it would do. And uh, we did keep track of the times, even though it was really just a bit of a shakedown for it. Car ran flawlessly, absolutely no problems at all, and he would have finished a comfortable eighth place in the times. Now, there are videos coming in the pipeline for the rally sprint and the Carnacross cross that we ran the following day. Now, the Carnacross cross, we did let Mark out of the blocks and say, right, mate, go for it. And he drove very neatly, tidily. He uh, hardly got a speck of dirt on it, really. Ah, oh, that's probably a bit of an understatement, but um, certainly didn't, uh, didn't push the car very hard. And he came second in the car across by just 1.5 seconds. So it was a very, very close run. So we're gonna call that a win, um, given that we had absolutely no dramas with the car whatsoever at all. It ran absolutely flawlessly straight out of the box. And like I said, that car has um, never, uh, the, the body shell has never done any competition and the running gear and it hasn't done anything for, for years now. So it was fantastic and uh, well done to you, Mark. It was a really good drive and we were very happy with it. So before I sign off, I would like to thank everyone who's commented, liked and shared the videos that we've made and also uh, all of the comments and feedback that we've had actually at events about it. It has been fantastic. Thank you very much. Also to all of our new subscribers, thank you for being on board. It's uh, great to see. And of course, while this is the end of the Build. It's not the end of the channel. We've got plenty more motorsport coming up. Uh, we've got a state championship rally. We've got a car across and rally sprint videos as well. And also, we are actually going to have another car very shortly in the, well, at this time it'll be done in the workshop uh, that we're going to, uh, actually it is already a rally sprint car and we're going to make some improvements to it and show you a few bits and pieces on that. So keep your eye out for that series. That'll probably start in the next couple of weeks once we get a handle on everything and get it all sorted out. Thanks very much for watching this series and the channel in general. Please like, give us a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll catch you again soon. Cheers.